it's important to understand the potential electrical hazards at your mine site. We'll look at some typical hazards, but your site will have unique situations. Make sure you follow the policies and procedures of your company to ensure safe operations at your mine. MSHA requires that only qualified persons perform electrical work. Whether working on transformers or repairing extension cords, a qualified electrician must do any electrical work. Lockout, tagout, tryout is one of the most important safety policies you have at the mine site. It prevents the unexpected release of electricity while maintenance is being performed. When locking out a piece of equipment or power supply, always wear safety glasses and stand to the side when switching the power off. Use a padlock with only one key to lock the equipment out and place an identification tag on it. You must always ensure that you have locked out the proper circuit. Before restarting equipment, such as a conveyor, after lockout, be sure to sound a warning horn to let others know that the equipment is being energized. Always verify that the equipment is actually immobilized or check the circuit for power before working on equipment. Don't ever assume that the power is off. When more than one person works on a piece of equipment, each locks the equipment out with his or her own lock and tag using a multiple lockout device. This prevents the power from being restored when one person is done but another is still working.